I've never liked the current, you know, present day parts of Assassin's Creed. I never have. Oh, smoking's bad for you. Ah, gross. That grosses me out. What is she looking at? She did, Alpha. What is she looking at? Yeah. Maybe they're just vitamins. That was olden stuff. Apparently. That doesn't sound good. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. He looks familiar. Sean looks familiar. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Oh, whose body's that meant to be? Mine? Is that Ivor? Let me see, let me see. Exa examine. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Apparently that's Eivor. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. What am I meant to be doing? Where's my objective? Is not actually tea. Something like that, Alpha Wolf. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can get, get me back, back in there. I was going to England. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. What's Whatever not today, have, Alpha? Back in. We're going back in. Okay, but I need to search first. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Tomatoes go in the counter and not the fridge, apparently. Hello, Layla. Yes? Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from we're, that, it's we're in North America. Ivor's bones are in North America. Ah, uh, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. 
Sean, mess with me last year. I, I had no control over them. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. I don't even know what they're talking about. Sean has been busy. Okay. You mind if I put some music on? Go no, I don't want to put the music oh. on. Copyright. Turn it back off. Turn it back off. Turn it back off. Thank you. That's quite nice. Soothing. Use laptop. Uh, wait. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Let's have a look. I'm just worried about there being missable achievements in here. Like, we might have to check all our mail or something. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And one more. I'm not reading all that crap. What's in here? Media. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Who's that? Who is that? From Sean to Layla. Layla thought you might be interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. 2012? Um, December, I think. What Just year are we in now? Kind of talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any big poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences. So, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total prat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, I, okay, I'm done anyway. So, turn off. Uh, turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just the button. Sorry, here we go. Close. Weird. No, no, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. So Sean is oh, in it. it was from when said, Desmond was around? Posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. 
I don't know how to say it exactly. But I always thought there was something self-destructive about Ooh. our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it. To choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. You can't side with the Templars. I could do that. Right. It's almost self refuting A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, mm. right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway, my dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. All right, come on, come on. The fundamentalism. Yeah. Fundamentalism come on. This becomes more important than oh, come on. You set out for yourself. And oh. people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology. Or deontology, is it? The rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, Munching on a wafer, rituals that give comfort, but that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like, like they're doing something, when the hard work is, well, actually getting off your ass and doing something. All productive. right, I've had enough. Hold on, I'll just. Nah, 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 nah. All right, what else? Bloody hell! There's too much. Uh, what is all this crap? Da 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 da. Oh, that is the staff. That's about the staff. Okay. My stuff. What's in my stuff? Ooh. Rude pictures? No. Nah. Boring. All right, and there's something in trash. What's in the trash? File corrupted. All right, we're done, finally. Okay, are we done? Are we done, done? No, we have to talk to her first. Feeling okay? Better. Better? But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I mean, I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Okay. Can we go back in? No. One more thing. Examine. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Was that my bed? The couch? Entering Animus to England! All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. How long do you do you play this alpha? She doesn't hey, like that staff. Okay. Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. One and a half hours. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I'm what does she want to hear? Cryptic. It's just that message led us here to this place, to a Norse grave in North America. 
So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our oh, only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. It's like super hot here, here today. Wow. Oh. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep I dream. And in my dreams I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Let me back in! Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> 